All right, guys, so we got to do a follow up video from the toxic gym girl video that I made a few days ago. Okay, she responded uh, pretty much doubling down on her actions of recording a woman in a, I guess, creepy way. Okay, she recorded her in a creepy way, took that footage, put it on the internet, and made commentary on that video, pretty much shaming the woman and kind of praising herself at the same time with how amazing her body is. She doesn't have to get a BBL. Um, it was just kind of a weird flex, if you ask me. But anyway, she made a response video that I want to go ahead and play for you guys. Let me give you guys an update. So since I posted the video of me saying BBLs have gone too far and showing the lady who was showing off her ass in the gym publicly and how I felt uncomfortable about it, how I've never had to go through that in my life. Going to gyms, I never had to see that, you know, in public. Someone showing off their ass in public at a gym. She's never seen a girl show off her behind at a gym. That's cap. Straight cap. I've never had to go through that. But since then, I became this, you know, publicity, you know, thing, I guess. And um, I'm kind of happy it all happened. Honestly, I'm always looking at it as a positive thing um, because honestly, it's time to elevate. And they don't know from looking at my TikTok, there's a lot of undisclosed information that they can't get to, you know, and they can't get to me. Um, but yeah, there's like billions and millions of gems out here, you know, like we're not worried about one or two gems, you know, like we don't care about that. There's private gems, there's home gems, there's really exclusive gems, you know, you, we all know that, you know, um, but no, I don't feel bad about saying BBLs have gone too far. I don't feel bad about putting the attention on the woman who was showing off her ass in public with all these people around, um, not giving a damn about how we feel. All right. So here's my thing. Um, you know, BBLs have gotten out of control, as we know. But if it was such an issue for you, why didn't you just approach her? Or you could have went to the gym management and had a conversation. I, I think the backlash she was receiving is the fact that she recorded the person in a creepy secret way, took that footage, put it on the internet, and then kind of made commentary, putting that person down while lifting herself up. Okay. That whole dynamic completely distorted her initial message, which was her you know, I guess being uncomfortable with the BBL, but I mean, it's a gym. Okay. There's going to be different characters at the gym. If you don't like what you see, you can just work out somewhere else, work out at home. And I don't feel bad about anything else. Like everything else is irrelevant to me. There's nothing they can really do to me, you know, like nothing has been lost. I just want to let you guys know that nothing has been lost. We haven't taken any losses over here. Um, you know, like as far as gyms go, billions of gyms out here. Billions of gyms out here, guys. Lots of gyms out here where people are taking their workout serious. So we're not feeding into the whole BBL um, drama because for one, we have freedom of speech. We have freedom of expression. And by law, we can film in a public place when we are in the public. Yeah, but again, as I said on the initial video, she's on private property, okay? She was at Planet Fitness at the time. And pretty much Planet Fitness, if you go against their rules and regulations, which is a judgment-free zone, you know, they could potentially revoke your membership. And based off of her verbiage in this video, it seems like Planet Fitness may have completely canceled her membership. But let's continue. No one can harm anybody and nobody was harmed. So another thing is we all have a right to our opinion. 
my opinion is my opinion. You know, there's people that think like me. There's people that don't want to be influenced by plastic surgery, you know, or don't want to be influenced in the wrong direction. I personally felt uncomfortable in the gym that day. I'm thinking like, why would a gym like this allow that in here? You know, anyways, there's people really in here working out. Um, and like I said, uh, all my comments, my messages, my notifications have been off because I don't feed into stuff like this. Um, my page is wide open. You guys can see everything. You guys can make phone calls, talk, whatever we want to do as long as it's not affecting me. And I haven't been affected by it. So like I said, I didn't want it on my conscious. I got it off my conscious by talking about it here solely and nobody's mad like no one's mad at it like you know there's other people that have opinions about it there's other people that feel the same way and there's gonna be people that feel the opposite way that's their perspective my perspective is my perspective you're not gonna take that from me can't take anything from me you can't make me feel any kind of way who cares who cares if a woman has a bbl what does that have to do with you and your workout? Like, I don't understand if, if it's bothering you that much, you can just simply work out at home. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what gym you go to. There's always going to be a few women with BBLs, caked on makeup, skin tight leggings. Like it is what it is. My voice is heard. I'm supported. I'm loved. And you guys can, you know, screenshot, repost. You know, you know, send my videos out. Cause guess what? No publicity is bad publicity. And that's, <laughs> that's what I've learned a long time ago. You know, um, for example, we have Democrats and Republicans. Like what side are you gonna choose? We all have to choose. Or you can just say, hey, I'm neutral. I don't have a choice here. Like I don't wanna choose. But at the end of the day, this is the world we live in. We all are going to feel a way about something. And uh, I don't feel any kind of way about this <laughs> because I know I have options and resources and places I can be, and people I can talk to. And I have a lawyer, I have an attorney, you know, like there's nothing we can do about this situation any further. So I'm not even worried about it, you know? Um, as far as the, any of the messages go, like I said, I just don't read into them. They get deleted. So, yeah, I think most importantly, I'm not the first one that's going to speak on this. I haven't been the first one or the last one that's going to speak on this. Um, there's a lot of other people that feel the same way. Um, so, yeah, when you go in public, I think you should act appropriately. You shouldn't be showing your in public in front of other people do that in private that's not private even if they say their facility is private it's not private because there's people around you that's watching you that's that you know are gonna turn their head like you know like okay girl you know what you're doing you're trying to get attention you're just trying to play the victim and i don't like this i don't like how females try to act like they're the victim when no one's touching them or harming them they don't learn the lesson behind it is that you're just trying to show your show your ass period point blank girls do that all the time i mean that's <laughs> like again you're at a gym unfortunately that is a part of the culture right you're gonna have over the top women that are going to expose themselves okay again if it bothered you that much work out at home i'm not gonna nurture that and i'm not gonna foster that behavior and i'm not gonna enable that so for one um you how many let's just say like i can go to equinox i can go to <laughs> what other nice gyms can i go to because i can afford it you know like that's this big step up i think equinox is like 200 300 equinox has a lot of ig models in equinox in a major city you're gonna see a lot of those types of women there crazy because i've never seen a bbl bother a woman this much i can go to so many other gyms and not have to deal with that you know like it has nothing to do really with the gym 
the name of the gym it has everything to do with I'm gonna support myself and I'm gonna stand up for myself you know like I don't want to see that when I'm working out if I'm paying the bill every month at the gym like I'm coming to that gym for a reason because I love the gym I love the members there you know like the people there are not you know, there for the wrong reasons. But of course, Planet Fitness, it's a low budget gym. You're gonna see stuff like that, low budget. You know, I should have thought of that. I only had been working out at any other Planet Fitness for a few months. But no, when I go to nice gyms that I'm paying for out of my pocket, I don't wanna see that. <laughs> like, period, point blank. You know, like, that's just, that's me. And I don't feel any kind of way about that because that's my right to express myself. That's my right to have an opinion. You know, you guys, like I said, like nothing has changed over here. Like everything's still going smoothly. Everything's still cool. There's nothing no one can do. Um, <laughs> you guys can keep watching my videos. You guys can send them out. You guys can make videos, everything. Do all that. Publicity, great not what i was intending but it's really not a bad idea so other than that you really can't do anything else so yeah keep watching me work out um keep making those phone calls and i can have these grown-up adult conversations and make people aware um so yeah send this video out if you want but yeah that's my update for the day, guys. Peace out. All right, guys. So there you have it. This is absolutely nothing. Okay. Nothingness. I don't understand why she's so upset. Low key. This is what women really think. The hate is going to come from other women. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Okay. I think she needs to mind her business and live her life. Okay. Like who cares? 